889 TCM Shop. Well, look who's back, Amy Heckerling. We're gonna talk Hi. about mainstream movies then. Yay. This is this golden era where you're making $100 million. We finally made it. You know, when I was first doing um, Fast Times, I felt like I was this strange little object that people were kind of like curious about, like, why is the girl here? Mm -hmm. By like the mid-90s, when you'd be talking to the crew and they'd be saying about what other projects they were on, you'd find that most of them had worked with a woman at some point. Like, mm -hmm. that was not the strange, weird thing, that mm -hmm. everybody had some experience working with women directors. Yeah, this, for me, is an interesting time because it's this bridging of independent films within a studio system environment. Yeah. You were given an opportunity because you were a talented filmmaker. Well, here we have a movie, Prince of Tides, directed by Barbara Streisand, who is an actress. The only other film in our trailblazing series was Barbara Loden, who directed Wanda and also starred in it. And Barbara Streisand is, you know, she was a movie star. She and was a big movie star. <laughs> she was the one movie star female that could get a movie made. Yes. For a long time. And so for her transitioning into directing, it's like she was directing her whole life anyway. She directed yeah. how she looked. She created herself, her right. image, her voice. Uh, I feel that everything was very thought out. Even in, in, you know, when she worked on Funny Girl with William Wyler, I feel as if she really was studying William Wyler and studying Sidney Pollack and those are people that I find in the movie Prince of Tides, a traditional, well-made story. But what's remarkable is like, you have a movie where she's like a lone person in a boat holding a note while we fly up to the sky. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not a small no. personality mm -hmm. or, you know, little movie. Um, and uh, that she had such restraint in this movie. Yes. Um, it's really, uh, it takes its time mm -hmm. and it gets into the interfamily dynamic and it doesn't get all hysterical. It's mm -hmm. like she's, you know, very methodical. Yes, and it's interesting when you say restrained because it's always, it must be a challenge for, for somebody like her mm. to, you know, when you see, you see her in the way we were, it's like, well, when is she going to start singing? I mean, even, <laughs> in, even in The Prince of Tides, as you said, uh, restrained, because there's we have to believe that she's Lowenstein. She's not going to start singing. She is, you know, she crosses over, and I, and I think that that's, you know, says a lot about her yeah. as a director directing herself. She didn't fall into any, any traps of, I'm going to make sure that, I have the big scenes and you know she's very understated and she lets Nick Nolte I think really carry the film. She totally lets him fly and she also has very wonderful female characters. Yes. She has Blythe Danner and Melinda Dillon. Kate Nelligan. Kate Nelligan. Plays I mean mom, uh, plays Nick Nolte's Wonderful mom. parts and really service them. Mm -hmm. The last thing I want to say about the movie is that it is, is very dramatic, but again, I guess that's why I go back to traditional storytelling and William Wyler is it's, it is an entertaining film. It is a big, lush, it looks beautiful. Yeah. It, it's a well-crafted, well-directed film about two damaged souls that are, that are going to help each other get better. Right. Well, let's have a look at it from 1991, based on the book by Pat Conroy. Here is The Prince of Tides. 